Hello, okay my people, welcome back. This is about stage fright. I know this is a very real thing and it can be really personal and almost even embarrassing. I know I've had a lot of people say, what do I do, how do I get past this? Especially people with these amazing voices that just need to get out there and do this and it would be so amazing. So I wanna give you some of my best tips that I've seen over the years that really, really help. Um, and of course, if you've watched any of my other videos, you are not going to be surprised uh, one bit by what I'm about to say. And that is, it all at first comes back to the breathing. What? No one's surprised. So that's right. At first, think about it. What do you do when you're really frustrated or anything else? How do you calm yourself? You take the biggest deep breath ever, right? Now here's the thing, when you're really nervous, you have a tendency to not breathe. I see it all the time when people are performing, they get freaked out and that's the first thing that they forget. But if you could take that nice big deep breath, there's actually endorphins that go to your brain when you breathe in really deep that calm you down, which is amazing. Take advantage of that. Even make it a part of your practice so, so much that that's such a habit of your deep breathing that when you get nervous, that's just gonna be second nature and that muscle memory is gonna kick in. <sighs> but, okay, so that's the first things first. But the second thing is, I wanna let you know that this is a real thing. Do not feel dumb about it. Even professional people, Ariana Grande, um, Shania Twain, Mariah Carey, I've heard all sorts of people say, oh my gosh, I was so nervous about a performance or something. So this is a very real thing and I wanna address that and let you know that you are so not alone. Um, but here's another good tip that I love. So when you're starting to feel stressed out, you get your big deep breath. But something else that helps is if you can just start get your body moving, doing your shoulder rolls, your neck rolls, start doing those warm ups that I had for you or with your body, with your shoulders, and all that good stuff. There's something about moving, getting your blood flowing, it just starts to release some of the anxiety, which is great. Okay, here's something else. Know your why. Remember I told you at the very beginning, the very, very beginning lesson about thinking about why do you sing? What is it? It's probably because you wanna to give to the world, because you have a message that you wanna share. You want to share your voice. You want to impact people. That makes such a big difference. And I think sometimes when we get nervous, we're picturing things going horribly. We're picturing that um, the people won't like us. We're picturing, oh my gosh, we flop and people are like, good, you know, whatever. But it's actually complete opposite. I see so many times the audience, picture when someone goes up to give a toast. When you're sitting there, you're watching a performance or a talent show or something and someone goes up to perform, you want that to go great. You are not hoping they fail. You want them to just kill it. That's really what you gotta picture in your head, that this audience is for me, and that I have something to give. It's funny, I heard someone say this once, and I just love it. Anxiety has an I in the center, and it's really based on me, right? But if I start thinking of what can I give my audience instead of what am I getting from them, but that you have a message to share, that you are there for a reason, that you can really encourage them, you can really bring hope, you can really bring laughter, you can bring comfort, in the songs that you're singing. You can bring entertainment. Sometimes someone just needs to laugh and you can be the person to help them do it with a song or words or different things like that. Um, so that's really important. And in that, also fighting it mentally is remembering past successes. This is something that helps me so much. It sounds like a little thing, but no, it is huge to remember, no, I am good at this. Yeah, this one time I remember I sang and this person said that was amazing, it really impacted them. Oh, I remember this one time, oh man, I got up there and just did an amazing job and felt so good and just saw people impacted. So picture those things in your mind that yes, you can do it. Speak yourself the good truth that yes, I am good at this. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I have succeeded in the past and yes, I will succeed again. Instead of telling yourself, oh no, this is gonna be horrible, it's gonna be horrible. Um, something else I see is to take your time. People when they get nervous, all of a sudden are speeding up. Oh, blah, 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 right? And they miss entrances or different things like that because they're just nervous and they're just not really just relaxing in the moment, getting a huge deep breath and just enjoying each part for how it is. Because you want to know what? If you mess up, you mess up and then you move on and you just keep going through it. And you want to know what? I've messed up tons of times. You want to know what? So have professional people tons of times. But you know what? You get better and better and better, which actually leads me to my next thing. The more prepared you are, the less nervous you'll be. I found this for myself and a lot of other people. The more, if I'm really, really prepared, I'm not as nervous. Now, if I know that I don't really know my stuff and I'm just kind of chancing it, eh, I'm more nervous. But if I'm prepared, I'm good to go. I'm excited about the performance. Instead of nervous, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm so excited to share this with them. I'm so excited to just 
encourage them. So be thinking that, really be prepared in advance. Know your exits, know your entrances, know how you wanna to connect to your audience. What are What is your character thinking as they would share this story, okay? Imagine what someone really needs that what you are offering. Someone is there needing that and that kind of changes things in your brain. Um, okay, I also want to tell you this and it's probably gonna be scary for you because you're scared to sing in front of people, but even if you can sing in front of one or two people to practice, I know people say sing in front of a mirror, yeah, yeah, but it's a totally different thing once you have that one person sitting there, you realize things change a little bit. And I always tell people once you practice all the way up to here, when you're nervous, it'll probably go down to here. So if you only practice for it to be this good, eh, it's gonna be like that when you're performing. Cause you just have to, you have to figure in for the nerves. But if you practice so this good, it'll still be there when you're nervous. Now I have a story of one of my students who I just love. Her name was Sarah. She is, was so scared. She wouldn't even sing in front of her mom when she was doing lessons. Barely she didn't even want to sing in front of me to be totally honest with you. But it was so awesome because she was good. And I kept telling her, even though she didn't believe it, that she was really good. So one day she says, I'm gonna do an open mic, which I almost died, I was so surprised. But you know what happened? She went and she did it. And she just did it, even though she was scared. And you wanna know what? She totally got addicted to performing. So many people came up afterwards and said, you were so good. And all of a sudden it started to change. That stage fright started to get less and less every time because she knew in her brain, I can do this. So sometimes as scary as this is, and you might hate me for saying this, you just have to get out there and do it that first time. Even if it's just singing for a few people and see how it goes. I bet you anything, nine times out of 10, it'll be amazing. And if it's not, do it again, and do it again, and do it again. It's a trait that just you continue to learn. It's a talent that gets better and better with time, okay? So remember, you're giving, you're not getting. You're facing that fear head on. You're not overthinking it. You're getting tons of deep breath, getting your body moving, and remembering most, most of all, your why. See you soon. Hope you enjoy this. Get in the Facebook group. Let's hear those stories about why, why you sing it on this. I want to hear stories even about times that you performed that went well and crazy. And I'll share mine with you too. And it'll be amazing. Enjoy and see you at the next module.